Jeremy Cook here, and I have a teensy problem. After signing up for Spotify Premium, I found that I often needed to start and stop songs to concentrate on various tasks, as well as adjust the volume. My keyboard had shortcuts built in, but as seen here, the ergonomics weren't exactly to my liking. What I really needed was something that had a start and stop button and a knob to control the volume. That way I could do with the tasks without moving my mouse or trying to stretch my fingers to hit the function key and whatever else was, was required. Controlling the volume could be accomplished using an encoder, which sends a series of signals to indicate which way the knob is turned. Along with a button, this should give me all the control I needed. To interface with the PC, I chose a trinket board from Adafruit. After a very brief amount of searching, I found that someone else had already thought of this, providing code and schematics. Originally, I thought I'd use a series of resistors in order for me to use multiple buttons, but this was easier said than done due to the way the board is made. I instead settled for pretty much their exact setup. Given this, I could have done away with the yellow button and just used the one built into the encoder. For whatever reason, I kept it, and it did make for a nice display in the end. In order to get that button to stick out just a little bit, I did put a piece of scrap MDF under it before soldering everything. I then proceeded to make the world's worst soldered breadboard. If you want to know how to do this properly, there are plenty of good tutorials out there. Just do a search, or I'll even link one in the description. It's not the cleanest build, but you can at least see where the encoder, button, and trinket go. Finally, it was time to make the body of this device. I drew it up on CAD, then I cut it out of MDF and white acrylic on my CNC router. I didn't leave quite enough clearance on my design, so I took more material out of the MDF base using my manual mill. It was time to cut out the acrylic. You can see me cutting out the top plate here. And here I am cutting out the button top. I put a hole in the middle to match the diameter of the button, then attach it with a cyanoacrylic glue, or super glue as it's commonly known. With that done, it was time to see if everything fit together. It did fit, but somehow the circuit on the board disappeared. I don't know where that went, perhaps it's a bit of uh, YouTube magic? With everything in place, it was time to paint it black with spray paint. This included a control knob that I also cut out of MDF. And voila, it now fits together and even looks pretty good. I applied wood glue to stick the two halves of the housing together. Once attached, this clamps the circuit board into a thin recession between the two sections. I removed the excess glue with a scrap piece of MDF, then checked to make sure that everything fit together correctly. Clamps were then applied, and I let it dry overnight. Now this problem is solved. Rather than fumbling around on my keyboard, I can simply reach over and adjust the volume with my new knob. If I want the music to stop, there's also just one button to hit for that. Here it is in action on top of my screen. Thanks for following along with this project. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, or even subscribe if you'd like to see what comes next.